Hey guys, welcome back to Fly Chick TV. So today, this is gonna be a vlog, quick vlog, going to wash the car, going to, to the phone store, going to the grocery store. So, I just got this three days, four days ago. It's already giving me some problems, so I'm taking it back to the store to see if they'll replace it and give me another one. So, yeah, we gotta take this back. It is currently, let me see if I can find this. Currently 154. I'm eating a pizza lettuce sandwich. And it's 2023, so I just wanted to come on here, and talk to you guys real quick. So, the new year is pretty cool. It's starting off pretty peaceful. Um, I have a video coming out soon. Uh, three and one get it get ready this week so you guys will be seeing that and then I have a review I'm not gonna mention exactly what I'm reviewing you guys will see it in due time but um I've decided that I'm going to record twice a week not record twice a week but post twice a week so you guys will get two videos every week that is gonna be my goal for 2022 to post twice a week so you guys will see that soon all right the next trip will be me at the store, so I'll see you guys when I get there. Don't forget to turn on your post notification and comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Y'all, so I just went, I just drove 28 minutes to another at and store. They're telling me that I need to, um, what they telling me? Call the district manager when I get to the main store that I bought my phone from and have them override. And if I don't hear from them, call the other store so that they can um, give me an authorization to get my phone exchanged. I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back with the continuation of my video. So, I'm so sure I'm gonna give y'all story time. This is the phone that I got people crazy I went into the store they gonna tell me I have to pay a sales tax plus restocking fee so I had to do a whole bunch of stuff on the back end to you know get my phone or whatever but I'm still using the same one I'm just gonna keep it go ahead and follow me on Instagram follow me on IG you know follow your girl I have content on there too not just on my YouTube channel so go ahead and follow me at Hey babe, and you know, hit me up. So yeah, you guys, I'm currently trying to um, just work with the phone at this point. It's called Jawa Price, and that's what I'm currently making. I got everything on the stove right now. Yeah, I'm going to be making some chicken salad for my how I make jollof. Mind you, I don't make it often, so this is really like my fifth time making it. <laughs> I'm adding a little bit of salt to my baking soda. Just a little bit. I don't want to use pure salt because the pure salt sometimes can be a little bit too salty, so I'm using garlic salt. Let that cook and then I'm adding my tomato paste when it comes. This is very sweet. And this is the rice that I'll be really using to cook my jollof. So when it's ready, I'll get back to you guys. So please don't mind my ghetto ass uh, onions. Uh, cutting board. I don't know who don't eat onions in their salad, but I do. It's just an African thing. So. You can show them the stew. 
might want to be careful not to pop it open and shit with the pop key. So this is just pretty much ready for me to put in the um, Yes, on the banana pepper. Yeah, you know the banana pepper. Yeah, that's good. Like, what? What I made? The banana pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, so the thing with your log, you gotta measure your rice. You don't want to overcook too much, and then your rice doesn't have enough to cook. So one bag of this is okay, so if you gotta level it out. I did put some salt to the side because I need it. You mix it with all the steam water. Get on the rice. If you need to add more, you add more rice. But not too much where it's dried out the steam because that's going to make it a lot too hard. So this is where you start measuring. Put a little bit in there. Little, go little by little because you don't want to make it too uneven. Just got to kind of eyeball it. And we do have chicken that we're making with it, so it's going to be on the side of the salad. And we're going to add a little bit more rice and then go. Added my rice and you just let it cook slowly, but you have to cover it with something to let the rice steam. And like I said, I have extra sauce here, so as y'all can see, the rice has took the majority of the sauce. So you need to take some of the sauce that you put on the side and drop it in there so it can have enough. And then as the rice is cooking, you add more sauce if it's not cooking how it needs to cook. Here goes my salad. I'm going to add, um, to add banana peppers. Give it a little flavor. And then I have to add my egg, which I need to put on the stove to cut up in the salad. Hold on. So this is how your jalof is supposed to look when it's cooking on the stove. So yeah, it's still cooking, but I just wanted to show y'all. We finna fry the chicken. I'll show y'all the chicken is right here. So when everything is done, we'll get back to y'all. Jalop is ready, bon appétit.